Hello, Ospreys. Welcome to the first edition of Osprey Roost. I'm Kevin Dugan, and joining me tonight is League of Legends officer and support player Seth Tompkins. Uh, how are you doing, Seth? Doing great. How are you doing, Kevin? I'm um, pretty good. Uh, how do you feel about your upcoming match against Elon Phoenix this weekend? Well, you know, it's an exciting match. If we win, we do make it out of groups, and we make it on the next stage. Um, so it's a pretty important match for us. So you guys had a forfeit win last week. Do you think that's really going to like affect your team's performance at all? Or do you think it was just kind of like a rest day? Um, I think it can be seen as both ways. But we do um, have our normal scrim schedule this week. <clears> and we also have an extra tournament that we picked up on Friday. So we're getting the same amount of games either way. I gotcha. Uh, is your team like doing any special preparations for Elon Phoenix? Or is it just kind of business as usual? Um, pretty business as usual. Um, similar drafts to what we've been running. Um, and yeah, just pretty much business as usual. So what would your like typical draft look like? Um, so against the team, um, like Elon, um, I'm just looking at it right now and they don't, they have a, a dedicated bot lane that, that tend to pit in quite a few games, but their, their top laner seems to play a lot of off roll. Um, he doesn't play as much of the game, so we'll probably play more towards Azuki um, in mm -hmm. the top lane and, and just try to gain some leads there. Gotcha. Um, so when you say, like, get Azuki leads, does that mean, like, you roaming up in the bot lane or just, like, forcing more jungle pressure with Nagbo in top? Or how do you uh, guys plan to do that? It could definitely be a variety of things. Um, I think you'll probably see everybody go up to the top lane except mm -hmm. for uh, Mickey, the ADC. Um, so all four of us may come up there and, and dive them, you know, you'll, yeah. you'll have to watch and see. <laughs> so can you talk about like some improvements you've been seeing, uh, with the team since your last match? Um, sure. So we've been just playing, uh, better as a team. We've started to play, you know, just like more time playing together. So we're gelling better. Um, I think your communication is, is getting a lot better and just knowing where everybody wants to be and what everybody wants to do, just kind of anticipating, what your teammates want to do before they do it or, you know, what they're thinking. Gotcha. Uh, with the draft, is there, like, any specific champions you're not looking to play against? Um, it seems like their ADC plays a lot of Sivir. Um, and with the changes on 13.0 and B, where Sivir can buy Navori second and just do mm. a ton of damage, um, probably going to see a Sivir ban. Gotcha. Uh, can you describe any, like, specific challenges you guys might face in the game sure um so as we're devoting a lot of resources topside um what they'll probably try to do is devote a lot of resources bot side and just try to cross map it um and so you might see us fall a little bit behind in the bot lane but hopefully we can kind of negate that pressure play safe weak side and, and get more top side than they're getting bot side uh could you talk about like any specific players on your team that you think are gonna like have to perform this game so you mentioned azuki but is he like the the main carry for this game uh it's, it's got to be uh mr og nagben steven himself <laughs> you know he's fan gonna, favorite fan favorite you know the twitch chat loves him um but yeah he he's gonna really direct him moves up to the top lane he'll coordinate with steven the other steven our mid laner um and just try to make plays towards top and and coordinate objectives try to get an early herald maybe and and use it top and just totally totally win the game through top lane gotcha so that is how you see the game playing out just like a straight up win through top yeah um probably of course we don't have our drafts particularly planned out um mm -hmm. you know champion for champion but that's that's how i anticipate it going gotcha so is there like anything else you just want to say about the game itself um not really should be uh should be pretty straightforward um we are higher ranks than them in solo queue but they don't play a ton of solo queue so you can't take that too much into account of course um azuki plays like no solo queue whatsoever so he's like <laughs> platinum when really he's, yeah. he's a high diamond player um so yeah you just gotta kind of be careful about underestimating our opponents um mm. and just playing to to our standard and not necessarily playing down to the skill level of our opponents Gotcha. Uh, do you have anything to say to the UNF supporters that will be watching? Um, thank you for supporting us. Uh, hope to see you guys in the Twitch chat on Saturday afternoon. And I specifically hope all of you are cheering on Steven Nagbin Nagby. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you for joining me, Seth.
Uh, this has been the first episode of the Osprey's Roost. Uh, I'm Kevin Dugan, and I will see you guys on the next one.